Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Kordamt and we are back for some more Solasta with the Lost Valley DLC. So in the previous episode we came into the Witch's Tent, which we are now just exiting. We fought the old hag and we won. Uh, I think a great deal of that fight was pretty much just having Edwin in the party with Counterspell uh, memorized. Well, I shouldn't say memorize, he's a sorcerer. So <laughs> having him know Counterspell really makes a very big difference. Because I think she didn't even cast a single spell. All the ones she cast got countered. So after that happens, she's just an old lady wearing a robe, getting pounded. <laughs> so yeah, Edwin kind of carried that fight. We also leveled up, which is pretty exciting. And I did check uh, before starting this, ep or I should say, after finishing uh, the last episode, but that was yesterday, so I'm not even sure I, rem I fully remember <laughs> what I wanted. Uh, but I did check um, what I wanted to do with my level ups. Let me see if I still remember. But most of them should be easy. I don't think there's much of a choice. We just gained some passive builds, I believe. Oh, nice. We have finished our first crafting session. Uh, was there something that I wanted to attune? Uh, I think so. No, not this one. This one, right? And I was gonna lose this guy. I don't like losing the poison. Maybe I should lose the necrotic resistance. But poison should be less common, maybe. Eh, let's see. I'm gonna take out the necrotic resistance because this one gives poison resistance and also the ability to move along walls. So this one does double duty. This is only a single thing. So take this one out. And... Bring this one in. I'm not sure if this AC bonus stacks with this AC, but we will discover it. Now, uh, for Mr. Treehugger, I think he has all that he needs. Uh, I guess I could maybe give him Charisma. I mean, why not, right? Yeah, give him Charisma then. So take this one out and put this one in okay edwin i think i ah yes i wanted to attune the the stuff so remove this and give him the stuff this is a stuff we picked up in the witch's cottage it gives us burning hands fireball and wall of fire uh and it recharges 1d6 plus 4 each day so this is a pretty cool stuff. I just wish I could give it to my my druid. It is sadly not possible. And she has all that I wanted to have. So, for level ups. We have Mr. Conan as a level 9 barbarian. We now have a proficiency bonus of plus 4. Brutal critical. You can roll one additional weapon damage die when determining the extra damage for a critical hit with a melee attack. And this is why... We're going to start using our two-handed axe more often. And we also get additional rage damage by one. So this one is a pretty simple level up, like I said. It's just a, a passive. Same thing for proficiency for Mr. Druid. Save DC is now 17. And spell attack is now plus nine. Very nice. And we also get our first level five spells. In terms of spells, I will take this out. Probably also take out Fog Cloud. And level 5. So we have Mind Twist already memorized. And this is actually pretty cool. It causes massive psychic damage to hostile creatures around you. And incapacitates them if they fail their int saving throw. It deals 10d4. I think it's sonic damage or psychic damage. And they can become incapacitated. The one thing that I don't like about this is this is not a targeted area. This is a four square radius, uh, sorry, 
a four square diameter around you. <clears throat> and my druid isn't often in the middle of the fight. But still, we also have insect plague always available. So I believe I'm gonna go for a mass cure wounds. And possibly a greater restoration. Although I do have lesser restoration as well. I think I might try Confusion then and see how this works out for us. This is also Concentration. Yes, it is. Hmm. Still, let's go like this. Mr. Edwin, level up. Uh, the typical stuff as well. Also level 5 spell. And here... On level 5, we already have Hold Monster, which is cool. Uh, we have Mind Twist available. We have Cone of Cold available as well. This one actually deals 8d8 damage in a cone. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for Cloud Kill, however. So, do I want to unlearn something here? I don't think so. I think I'm fine with the spells that I currently have memorized. Except maybe hold person, because this only paralyzes a humanoid, and this one paralyzes a creature. So, there could come a time where I take out hold person, since I'm also using hypnotic pattern. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's remove this one. Okay, and let's learn cloud kill, as well as... Probably Dimension Door. I also have Fly. Ah, but Fly I don't think I want. Da, da, da. This also wouldn't be bad, but it's very specific to give to, um, to a Sorcerer, in my opinion. So I think Cloud Kill and Dimension Door. For some mobility. Okay. Red. Oops, wrong button. Level up. She now has Poisonous, which sadly is something that we're, I'm not going to be using all that often, but it's still good to have. When you hit with a melee weapon and deal at least one point of uh, damage, your target must make a constitution save DC 13, so kind of sucky, or they will be poisoned for one hour and take an additional 2d6 damage. So it's no joke. Okay. <clears throat> Our stuff is done. Uh, I got a... Sorry. This is a new boot up of the game, so I gotta turn this off. And let's see. <clears throat> is all of the, stu the correct stuff memorized? Or attuned? Ah, I wanted to see the cloak. So we are currently sitting at 23 AC. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm gonna remove... My attunement of this, uh, but this is also a cloak, so I cannot use a cloak on top of a cloak. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna have to memorize this again. But it does stack, so I will take this. And I'll deal with this later. You, I think you already have all that you need to have. In terms of attunements, yes. Edwin <clears throat> has his thingy. And she has her three things. Okay, lovely. So, where are we going, my friends? Let's find out together. We have a couple of quests. Well, I guess this one. Return to Ilaria. Uh, I'm not sure if this is in the city. Well, let's see. We are going to leave. Okay, so there's a quest over here for a mysterious place. Hano Mudstrider asked you to check this place for his lost cousin. Okay. And then there's the city where we have two different quests. So that's where we're going. Okay, let's travel. 
Already? Elemental Trio. Air Elemental, Fire Elemental, Earth Elemental. Uh, we can ambush them. So I will do this fight. It will probably go quickly. And I should also have Red craft some more of the Paralyzing Arrows. Oh, they're all together? This is lovely, man. Sadly, I can't actually... You know, fireball them to full effect because this guy won't take fire damage. But it's still pretty cool. Oh, maybe I could go for this, Cloud Kill. This one shouldn't take poison damage, I'm guessing. Let's see, let's let's find out. I haven't used this spell yet. So let's let's use it. Solasta, Conjo, Malmis. Uh Okay, none of them took damage. I'm kind of curious. Is this guy out of it? He shouldn't be. Hmm. Let's go for the axe. <clears throat> I'm gonna place myself... I think this place is... Uh, under the effect of Cloud Kill, so I'm gonna go over here. Let's rage. Reckless attacks and start smacking. Okay, so three rage damage instead of two. Done. Let's shoot this guy. Or maybe I'm gonna try out my my venomous thingy. Okay, we shall dash over here. And smack this guy. Well struck. Uh, okay, they are immune to poison, so cloud kill doesn't do anything. Okay, well at least we learned. <laughs> uh, what else do I have? Uh, I'm guessing they should take damage from the insect plate because this is piercing damage. Okay, let's go for it. They do. This is a nice spell. This is a very nice spell. 4d10. You didn't get Wait, excuse me? Oh, they are dying to the... Um, um, insect plague. They take no damage from this. Okay, let's take out this cloud kill. Because it is irrelevant. And... I should have killed this guy first because he's immune to fire. But it's fine. Let's go all out on this. Solasta, Evo, Malmis. Pew 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 pew. Ooh, everything hit. Well done, Edwin. Well done. You are on fire, my friend. Ah, I, I t Wait, what? Uh, game. Ah. No, I gotta move because I actually went into the um, insect plague. That's why I had this advantage. One more. There we go. Now, I'm not sure if they take the damage from the insect plague at the start of the um, round or at the end. Again, harder. For piercing. Poisonous. Yes. And to finalize, Mr. Earth Elemental. Which I think I'm just gonna use as a test. I wanna see if he takes the. No, okay, they take damage at the end of the turn, not the start. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Thou suckest. I win again. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I definitely like Insect Plague. And I also like Cloud Kill. Cloud Kill is the same thing as the Insect Plague, honestly. Except it's poison damage instead of piercing. Which generally <clears throat> is probably a good thing and better than the Insect Plague. But... 
this case we were dealing with elementals and they are immune to poison. Let us leave the area and continue our way towards the city. Wait, let's actually interrupt this because I want to have you crafting uh, this one. Paralyzed, yes. Craft. Okay. Resume. Ah, I am going to take out this one because they don't stack naturally. And let's go back to having necrotic resistance. I think I have a, a ring slot free. Oh, let's see if I didn't mess this up. Uh, yeah, okay, it's fine. Oh, talk to us, Drubal? We just came from there. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. It is fine. I shall drink some coffee while waiting for the immense loading screen. <clears throat> one day, my friends, one day, when I have a computer that is not seven years old, <laughs> we shall have some better timed loading screens, I promise you. I promise you. I also want to play Vermintide with better graphics and without the game lagging. And I also want to play Kingdom Come Deliverance on a new computer. There's a lot of stuff. Metro Exodus. This is for you. Proof that the witch was real. You avenged him. I did. I don't know how to thank you. Take this. Please. Is that a pillow? Oh, a handy haversack. Is it like um, a bag of holding? Ooh, it's not as good as an actual bag of holding, but it's still cool. Okay, so you can take this. She goes from 288 to 432. Lovely. Okay. Uh, there was another quest here, right? Ah, Reconnaissance. Uh, Vando, I think, is in the Rebellion place. Yeah, over here. There's a teleport there. Can I... But I don't know how to get there. Like from a, a a quick route. I'm not sure where where that leads. Let me just check something. Hmm. No, I think we're fine. Oops. Clear skies. Sweet laughter to you. Any news? It's done. Wonderful news. Misaye smiles upon us. My friends, I had an interesting visit. Pray tell. Our Lady of Luck has granted me a vision. <laughs> Unworthy as I am. She favored me. And what was this vision about? I saw a cave near the forge camp where you first met Sanko Flint. Within, there is an abandoned sanctuary where Messiah was worshipped long ago. Go there and clear the way for me. Her whimsical majesty has commanded me to reconsecrate this holy place. Hmm. A cave? That's pretty vague. I saw it clearly. I'll mark it on your map. Messiah okay. is laughing. <laughs> okay. Messiah is laughing. Yes, yes. Okay, dude. So we are at brother, uh, brother, at, 
but brotherhood status. Do you have anything new? Oh, a bag of holding. But I don't really need it. Actually, he doesn't really have anything that I need. Hmm. Uh, who had the, the primed items? Was it this guy? Or was it like back in the... I hope it wasn't the Dominion characters. Wait, we gained the bag of holding for completing the quest? Are you kidding? Oh, we are not kidding. Uh, okay, so you take this one and we're gonna give this one to Edwin, or actually to him. 162, 180, okay, it's not much of a difference. It would be more efficient to give it to Edwin, but I, I'm fine like this. And you, my lover, you can have this. Oh yeah, baby. So much better. Okay, now, do you have primed items? He does not have primed items, which makes me sad. <clears throat> what about the weapons merchant? Please have primed oye, items. Oye. All newcomers in the city must present themselves at the high gate to be questioned by the authorities. There nope, this is only stuff that I sold to him, I think. God damn. Oh. Living legend? Uh, oh, he's from the people. Oh, okay. But, yeah, he doesn't have anything of interest, sadly. Oh, That sucks. Okay, okay. Yeah, sure, sure, that's fine. Oye, oye. All citizens are uh, allowed to pay homage to the Lord Protector. Wait, how do I leave the city? Uh, <laughs> excuse me? That was an exit right there. Do I need to go out this way now? Wow, that's very, very strange. Um, but okay. It is raining outside. Rain and video games are a very good match. If you don't mind me saying so. I'm quite pleased. Um, yo, how, how do I leave here? Is the game bugged? Oye, oye. By order of the Lord Protector, uh, all persons who fail to denounce a neighbor or family member for treason. I think the game bugged. This is for the castle. Is there a quest here that I need to do or something? No. Okay, uh, so what if I go into the people hideout and maybe there's a way out from there? Oye, oye. The Shut up, man. <laughs> I've heard you. Oh, yay, oh, yay. Okay, dude, so how do I... Nah, the, ga the game, the game bugged. I I'm pretty sure the game bugged. My way out is not appearing for some weird reason. I am going to have to quick save and quick load. See if that works. Or maybe if I just stand in the place, the game will recognize it as being the exit. No. Oh yay! Oh 
I mm. earlier today five smugglers were executed ah. for selling illegal products on the black market. Okay, quick save, quick load. God damn it, game. Why do this to me? I was happy, everything was going fine, and now this. <clears throat> but yeah, as I was saying before, and this is mostly just random chatter to fill it to fill up the void of waiting for the loading screen. I am very much looking forward to getting a new PC sometime in the future. And that would enable me to play Kingdom Come Deliverance as well as Metro Exodus and make some videos about that. And even Vermintide. This is still... crapped out. There was an update to the game just today. I'm not sure if that messed this up. I'm going to try and, I don't know, switch areas and see if that works. This morning, a rebel agent was hanged for sedition. If not, I'll just try, like, resting for one night. Man, this sucks. There is nothing keeping me here, right? There, there is nothing to be done. Or is she here? Is Ilaria here? No. I... I don't know. Let's swap areas and see what happens. Well, I guess a fight happens. She's just chilling over there. Uh, okay, I can kill these guys pretty quick. So, might as well do it. Let's rage. Reckless. Cut them up. Okay, so what do I do here? Um, she has eight hit points, so maybe just kill her. Solasta, evil Malmis. Keep them coming. Okay. So, for those of you who might not be understanding what's going on, uh, I've already burned up my my um, reputation with the Dominion, so I can just, you know, freely attack them. It doesn't make a difference. Wow, nice roll. <laughs> so I don't mind killing guards, and that's also why the guards are attacking me on sight. You'll get a nice scar. <laughs> Action surge, two more attacks. Sure, just get it over with. Come on, come on. Come on, my friend. Uh, they are very spread apart. I'm just gonna haste Conan here. Natura, Muto, Mm-hmm. Reckless. God damn it, yeah. You have them now. I think this one should be enough. Indeed. <clears throat> Let's go for the next one. Like I like that one. Uh, I cannot fire a ball because there's civilians in the area. But I can do this. Oops. One, two, three. Solasta, Evo, Malmis. <laughs> that I like. <laughs> sure, 
my friend. Action surge all you want. Uh, I'm gonna dash. Because I wanna I wanna see how my venomous works. Okay. Wait, it said Ah, okay, constitution save. Uh, I'm hasting. Eh, nah, not worth it. Just do this. Natura Encho Malmes. Oh, that was a nice roll. Wait till the next one. <laughs> oh my god. I rolled a 1 for damage and now a 1 and 2 for attack roll. Finally. Ah, almost. Two hit points. Solasta, Malmis. Okay. So now the question is, can I leave the the goddamn city? Because I'm not particularly interested in killing guards, except I do have some good stuff. This is worth some money. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, I want to be a guard in this town. They make a lot of money. Okay. Oh, there's more. Oh, lethargic. Okay, let's wait. Oh my god. We have a lot of money here, just in armor pieces. And plus one morning stars. Okay, so that's the loot done. Uh, let's... What? Oh, there's more loot? <laughs> Not complaining, I'm just gonna sell everything right now. It's not a lot of money, but... You know, it, it looks good just picking up all these coins. <laughs> okay. Let us sell the stuff. Uh, I think I've already looted this. These are all just like shields and daggers. Yeah, this doesn't matter. And can I leave now? I still can't leave. Uh, this may be a problem, which I'm not sure how I can fix. I mean, I can always load the game, but that's kind of sucky. Oh yay! Oh yay! I'm gonna have to come up with a solution for this. Ah, uh -huh, so the oh, they are actually okay. So they are worth. Ah, they are already identified. Sorry, that's what I wanted to see. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell them all except one. Already paying off, killing those guards. A lot of armor pieces I will never use. Dude, killing these guards just gave me more gold than I've made in pretty much the entire game. We did purchase some stuff, but still. Uh, this is just for selling, 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 same thing. Okay. 
5,000 gold. Lovely. Uh, okay, so let me think. Uh, one of my ideas was... Going over there and see if this works. Ah, sleep. That's that's the other idea. Okay. Let's see if sleeping refreshes the area or something. If not, I will have to come up with a solution. What can they sleep? We need a room. Sure. Okay. Hopefully this changes something. What the hell, man? Penalties for failing to do so will be severe. Uh. Well, I'm kind of screwed now, aren't I? Yup. Um, I accept suggestions. Uh, I mean, there's nothing here that I can do right now. Okay, I I guess I'll save the game, exit the game and come back. Last night, several citizens of Care Hifrid created trouble by shouting in the streets. Yeah, okay. So my apologies guys, but you know, this isn't really my fault, at least not that I'm aware of. Uh I will actually just end the episode here. There's not much point in going out of the game, starting it up again because of an extra 3 minutes. Uh I will try to get this sorted. Hopefully I can, if not I will just have to load back to a point where I'm just entering the city or something and see if that works. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna end it here, uh, sad we couldn't do much else, but you know. Um, as always, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching some Solasta with the Lost Valley DLC, Primal Calling DLC and Buggy Exited Exits DLC as well. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, any suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment below. If you want to get notified about other videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It's a free and easy way to support my channel and videos are coming out every day. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe everyone. Oh,